life. Samantha had a particular knack for turning a desperate situation into a hopeless one. Oh, speaking of secret sex, did Charlotte ever tell you about the rabbi? The rabbi? Excuse me? You know who I'm talking about. I cannot believe that the two of you came down here to interrogate me at work. I'm sorry, it's my fault. <sighs> anyway, he wasn't a rabbi. He was a Hasidic folk artist from Brooklyn. Close enough. <laughs> Evidently, Charlotte had seen Schmuel's work in an exhibition and scheduled an appointment to meet him at his studio. These are outstanding. So much life. You have a beautiful way with light. Thank you. Now, this one is really special. That's my yeshiva. I wanted to capture the exuberance of youth. Charlotte quickly became intoxicated by his talent, his strangeness, and the smell of his wool. Magical. It was so sexy, so forbidden. Daddy's little Episcopalian princess in the arms of one of God's chosen people. About art and sex and the Torah. Well, why didn't you introduce him to anybody? I was embarrassed. I mean, I couldn't really date him and he couldn't date me. I mean, what would people think? Well, if the sex is good, who cares what anybody thinks? Now, you cannot put this in your column. Promise. I promise. Was secret sex the ultimate form of intimacy since it existed in a pure state exempt from the judgment of the world? Or is it just another way in which we deny our feelings and emotionally compartmentalize our lives?